everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Katie, and today we are going doing a fun wintry scene because it's cold and it, there's snow on the ground, at least where I live, so I wanted to do a fun little winter scene today in Job. So before, before we get started, let's go ahead and say a quick prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us all together today. I pray that we all have a blessed and wonderful week this week, Lord God, and I pray that you will guide us in our Bible journaling, and just, Lord God, I pray that you will just encourage us and grow our strength, and um, just bring your peace to us, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so I'm going to move my camera back a little, because it's a little far away from me, okay. <laughs> so the verses we're going to be using are in Job 37, verses 9 and 10, and it says, the windstorm comes from its chamber and the cold from the driving north winds. Ice is formed by the breath of God and watery expanses are frozen. So, it talks about how God brings forth the really cold weather. I'm, I'm cold. I'm wearing a long sleeve sweater and my hands are freezing. So, <laughs> hopefully doing Bible journaling will warm me up a little bit. So, today I'll be using some fun stamps. I will link down... I'll try to link down everything that I use down below. I got these off of Etsy, and they're just so cute. Like, gnomes are perfect for for winter, I feel like, or any season, really. I'm going to use some Prismacolor pencils and also, of course, my ink and my um, stamp pad. Uh, if you don't have an acrylic block for your stamps, you can also use a clear plastic uh, CD case if you still have one lying around. I actually have quite a few, but... I happen to have an acrylic block, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you don't have Prismacolor pencils, you can use whatever pencils you have. And I lost my sticker book. Oh, there it is. And I'll also be using the uh, this year's uh, Michael's Recollection um, Peppermint Peppermint Stripe sticker book. So I thought some of these stickers would be really cute for our page, especially like the peppermints and stuff. Kind of give it a little bit of a wintry feel. Okay, so let's go ahead and have some fun. So there's some washi tape in here. Oh, there's even letters. Ooh. Okay, I might actually use the letters today. You know, it never. it's always a good time for peppermint. Let's see. There's washi tape in here. I think I'll just use the plain peppermint washi tape that I saw in the beginning there. Yeah, okay. Ooh, there's this one too. I think I'll use this one. Okay. So let's see, let's go ahead and use some washi tape for our page. And if you don't have this type of Bible where there's big um, margins, you can also just go ahead and create this on a plain piece of paper instead. Um, and that way you don't cover up your words and you can just have fun decorating on a plain piece of paper and then you can tape it into your Bible. I've done lots of pages where you can do that as well, where you create a tip in and you don't have to put it right in your Bible or on your Bible, I should say. Okay, so I just cut my washi tape a little bit just because it's quite thick and I didn't want to cover up the words on the bottom there. So I'm just going to put stripes over here and then a little bit on this side as well. A little bit of peppermint. Peppermint stripes. Peppermint stripes are so cute. I think they're probably one of my favorites to decorate with. So I got some peppermints going on the bottom. If you want to, I think I will put some peppermints at the top as well. So we've got some peppermints going everywhere. There we go. Just want to make sure that I don't go over the page. Okay, we're good. <laughs> All right. So we've got peppermint going all over the place. And let's see. So we're definitely going to be using the letters, but I think I'm going to do the stamping first just so that it starts drying. So I have two different sets. I like these ones because they're a little bit bigger than the smaller ones. So the smaller ones would be great for, for smaller Bible pages. Like if you have the coloring Bible and you have those smaller margins, even these would still fit, the bigger ones. So I think I'm going to use these. I like this one. I like create your own gnome because there's no nose or anything. That's funny. Or maybe it's the back of a gnome. Could be the back of a gnome. Okay, so I've got my cute stamps. I haven't even used these yet. So I'm excited to finally 
get some cute, get some cute use out of these. So even the house is cute. Like, should we use the house? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll put the house on this side. So let's see. I guess I will use the house too. They're sticky because they're brand new. <laughs> So, and these are just easily washable with soap and water. Even just water will wash most of it off. But yeah, just soap and water. I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use black ink today. Or I could use brown. No, we're going to use black. And I'm just going to get this all inked up. Should probably put it on a flat surface. You want to make sure you get all the crevices when you're inking your stamp. Because sometimes, sometimes you do miss a few little pieces. You want to make sure that you ink up all the pieces you can on your stamp. All right, now I'm going to put this one over on this side, maybe down a little lower. Oh, we can actually fit it at the bottom here. Yay, I'm actually going to put it right here. And you want to press down on all sides of your stamp. Hopefully the page is not in the way. Look how cute. Oh, that's adorable. I'm kind of glad I put it on the bottom. I was going to like make it float up, but I think on the bottom it looks a little better. Or if you want to put it on the top, you can always like create a little road or something. All right, let's see. Let's grab some gnomes. All oh, these gnomes are like twice the size of the house. I just realized that. Let's see. There's some cute stuff here. Oh, I just saw these little faces. So you can put these faces on that blank gnome. Oh, how cute is that? I don't know what I want to use. Uh, I think I'm going to use the little girl. I think she's adorable with her braids. You can kind of tell a girl from a boy gnome. I mean, the boys have beards and the girls have braids usually. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a girl gnome. She is adorable. And I think that her whole hat is going to actually be black that I realize it that's okay you can always color in the little stripes okay so we've got her and I'll put her down here on this side let's see let's put her yeah let's put her over here okay so we're gonna put her here remember to press down on your stamp make sure you don't move it around just you don't want to press gently and lift oh I did miss a spot see See, I knew I was going to miss a spot. <laughs> I didn't get enough ink or I didn't press hard enough. So we're going to re-ink her. I'm trying to figure out where that spot was. I think it was on this side, yeah. So I'm going to re-ink and hopefully try to realign. I must not have inked that side up enough. So I'll be off camera for a second because I'm lining up my stamp. Trying to realign her. I think the problem was was that I have something behind the page that's sticking up. I think that's what's causing me not to be able to have that part. But we got her okay stamp there. I think I had a problem because something's bumping out. Like another Bible journaling page. So I was not working on a flat surface, which I should be. So I'm going to put my sticker book back there. That was the problem that I was having. All right, and I think we're going to do, let's see, we're going to do the other guy with a little, his little tongue sticking out. And he should work out better because I actually put something flat back there. I should remember that. So, yeah, handy tip. If you have, like, bulky journaling or even just in general, I would go ahead and um, and put something behind there that's flat like a book or, or a sticker book or something just to make sure that it is flat as you're pressing down on your stamp. Okay. So we've got our last little critter here. And hopefully he should work out okay because we have the sticker book back there. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Okay. So that was our problem. That's okay. It happens. You could even, if you wanted to, I would say, um, if you're not happy with the way she looks, you can just use a blank piece of white paper and cover her up and tape it in, which I actually might do. I don't know. What do you guys think? 
she should be okay. Okay, so now that those are done, I'm gonna add my, my letter stickers first, so that way I can um, let that dry and then I can color that in colored pencils. So let's see here. I did see peppermint letter stickers, so we're gonna add some letter stickers to this. Okay, so I just used a little bit of double-sided tape to get our little paper in. It is a little bit of, of a different color, but it works out better because that way <laughs> I didn't like the way the little girl gnome turned out. She was a little bit smudged from me putting on the stickers and stuff, so I just decided to go ahead and go with it and um, just do a cutout instead. So you can either tape it in your Bible or you can use washi tape to place it in. I want to see if there's any other... Um, stickers that we want to use in here. Let's see. I know we're not going to be doing like Merry Christmas, but let's see what else we have. We can do some fun of trees. I'm glad we used the stickers. So if you can't read it, it says ice is formed by the breath of God in the peppermint stickers. I just thought that was so cute and perfect. Let's use some cardinals. I've seen cardinals in the middle of winter, so I think we're going to use a couple of cardinals. And we can place some on the edges just to kind of make it a little bit more fun and a little bit more decorative. Put one right here. And let's see. Let's put one, let's put one like near the house or on the house. There we go. Cute. Okay, so I think that's all we're going to use for stickers. We could use more if we wanted to, but I think we're good. Oh, there's some cute stuff in here, though. <laughs> now, this is mostly, mostly Christmassy things, so mostly Christmassy sayings there. Let's see. Anything else Christmassy? We could use one of these tags if we wanted to. There's like just something missing up here. Like that's what I'm looking at. And I'm trying to figure out what I want to place there. Maybe like a tag where we can put the verse down maybe. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Why not? And then we can put our verse for what verse we used. That's cute. And let's see what else we want. Lots of fun stuff. We could use those. Let's see. I wish there was one that just said, like, I don't know, something about snowing. <laughs> Although there was one, like, that said, let it snow, which is cute. Let's see. Let's use. I just want something else here. Nah. Can't decide. Can't decide on the last sticker. You like more of a plain one with the deer? That's cute. I like that. Okay. We'll do that one. Let's make it a little bit more decorative over there. Okay. So, 
Next up, we're going to go ahead and color in our, our stamps. You can leave them plain if you want to, but I like to color them in, so I'm going to use some fun little colored pencils here. And I think my stamps are going to be dry enough, but just be careful. Um, leave your page open if you use stamps, just to make sure it's completely dry before you close your Bible. So let's go ahead and have some fun. Now that we finished coloring those, it actually took longer than you saw it because, <laughs> boy, my hand hurts. I've probably been coloring for like 20 minutes, so I'm a very slow colorer. But I think they turned out cute. I left his beard white because I thought it was really cute. But we're going to put the verse now that we did. So it was Job 37, verse 9 and 10. But I think this page turned out super duper cute. I absolutely love it. 37, 9, and 10. I thought that was a cute idea to put the little tag up there because we didn't really have anything up at the top in that corner. So yeah, I think it turned out really, really cute. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this fun little video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you all on Sunday for the next video.